This is ABC 7 at 10. We have ran into that in the past six months or so uh, that they just will not write a check to the city and so they can write a check now to the foundation and we still get the money for their intended purposes. So it's perfect. The city of El Paso has now reached an agreement with the Paso del Norte Community Foundation to provide funding support for the El Paso Zoo. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. I'm Paul C. Carlo. And I'm Stephanie Valle. Now, El Paso City Council voted to approve an agreement that would allow the Paso del Norte Community Foundation to become the nonprofit organization responsible for fundraising for the El Paso Zoo. It's a role that was previously designated to the El Paso Zoological Society. ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez spoke with the El Paso Zoo and brings us more information on this new agreement. Tony. Paul, Stephanie, while the El Paso del Norte Community Foundation will not have other functions like the Sioux Society did when they managed Sioux membership programs, the El Paso Sioux does believe this agreement will expand their donor base. It does give us control of our donors in the database and hopefully so we could help raise more donations and expand that aspect of what we do in the future. El Paso Sioux Director Joe Montesano says the Paso del Norte Community Foundation's history made them the right pick for this agreement. Montesano saying it will make processes easier. I expect it's going to be easier for people to make donations and get them to where they want them to go. These are dedicated funds, so they dedicate it to a rhino, for example, or something else. I mean, that's where it'll go. I mean, and so it helps filter that way, and it just helps for the, it makes the donation process easier. Before voting yes on the agreement, City Representative Cassandra Hernandez made a statement regarding previous decisions. While I don't agree with the City Council's heavy-handed approach to end the partnership with the um, zoological Society. Uh, I think it's important that we have um, or we are prepared for the next steps. We reached out to the Paso del Norte Community Foundation for an interview regarding their new partnership and received a statement that said in part, quote, the Paso del Norte Community Foundation is honored to facilitate charitable contributions to support the El Paso Sioux, from the care of animals to the expansion of programs and services. We look forward to partnering with the city on this dedicated fund for the El Paso Sioux. Montesano told me this agreement will allow more people to donate since many do not want to give their money to the city. There are some people that just won't write a check to the city because you know, they, they think the city wastes money or I don't know why. I can't explain that, but I have ran into that in the past six months or so uh, that they just will not write a check to the city and so they can write a check now to the foundation and we still get the money for their intended purposes. So it's perfect. City representatives Brian Kennedy and Josh Acevedo voted against the agreement. Tonight, Acevedo wrote me saying he voted against dissolving the agreement between the city and the Zoological Society and still felt they should have worked together, adding, quote, I have also told all, I have also lost all confidence in the Sioux director to lead the organization after he disgraced the city when he said, quote, do not poke the bear because you may get bit. I killed a 63 year old nonprofit, put nine people out of work and made $1.6 million dollars for the Sioux in one move, end quote. We need steady and ethical leadership at the Sioux, end quote. We reached out to the El Paso Zoological Society, but they were not available for comment. Reporting live in studio, Tony Gutierrez, ABC7.